Hi, this is Lady Lecture K. Um, I wanted to um, do a Deconstructing Dreams on Ollie's, um, Ollie Goop, Ollie XE um, level, but I couldn't work out how it was doing what it was doing. So he's very kindly done a tutorial to explain um, how to make the, the paint strokes. However, I followed his tutorial step by step and um, he's left something out because it doesn't work so let me just follow his tutorial step by step he says step one uh, draw your stroke so we're going to draw our stroke I'm going to use the ruler it doesn't make a difference if we use the ruler or not um, I tried it both ways um, then make it physical and attached at both ends so when you pick it up, it does this. So step one, done. No problem at all. Step two, add a object with an emitter. Okay, done. Step three, emit your um, stroke. Um, so I need it to emit in that direction. Okay, he says set the time between the emits to zero and the emitted object lifetime to seven seconds. Okay, now his, um, his tutorial shows it creates a sort of a block. Um, mine doesn't, it does that. Um, and it's off. And there's another load so that's not the same so there's obviously something i'm missing there so um the emitter thing um there's something missing in the tutorial because the instructions just say move this and move this um there's no instructions to do anything else if i set the maximum emitted at once to infinite it just carries on making them infinitely so that's not it um maximum emitted at once if I change that does that it still travels I really don't know how he's done it so that it stays put um, from the instructions he's given me so um, I can't use that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the emitter forget the emitter entirely and I'm just going to copy and paste this paint stroke Okay, so we'll make a nice block of those. There we go. Then next step is to put in a object. There's my object. And here is my force supplier. And he says uh, up the speed on the on the stroke and try pull and make this a little bigger. Okay, so I've done that. It didn't say how much bigger, but there we go. Let's turn that on and see what it does. Okay, so he's got his, so that if you bounce it in and out of the paint strokes like this, it moves the paint strokes, except it doesn't. And I can touch the paint strokes all over with this force emitter and absolutely nothing happens until I hit the beginning of the stroke and then it works so the beginning of the stroke is the only place where the force applier actually affects the stroke put it in the middle or on this end absolutely nothing it's only if you hit this so I think what you need to do is move your force applier to the edge like that and then you can move your object along like this and it's going to affect your paint strokes because it's on the edge but again um, it's only going to do it if that force thing is on the edge. 
it's very sensitive to to where you place this force applier and um, now it's stopped working altogether there we go there we go there's a pull push of the ball there we are so it works but not as described in the tutorial um, and it only works if your force supplier is on that edge it does not work if your force supplier is on your object and your object is in the middle you only do it if it's on the edge which is what I said originally when I said I couldn't do it you had it in the middle and I can only get it to work on the edge there you are they are Ollie see if um, um, you can explain the um, the emitter thing because it's obviously something um, else that, that you need to do um, that you've left out okay thanks bye